Uh, you know, pound for pound, probably as good as Michael Jordan as a college basketball player. Maybe even had a little more upside. P- people look at Jordan as, you know, the great pro he was. There were people thinking that maybe Bias was better. Um, the Celtics retired his number. He would have won number 30. And really put the Celtics franchise back. Uh, yeah, it set him back years. Yeah, I mean, it would be like, uh, they were talking about, what if Kobe had, had died? Or Kobe hadn't played for the Lakers? I mean, how different their franchise would have been over the last 10 years. Uh, Shaq would be there. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Oh, was great. I not supposed to say that? <laughs> that's I just had. That's pretty <laughs> funny at a sad time. Anyway, um, anything? No, I mean I think that those documentaries have been. They've some been of very them good. Pretty, pretty yeah. compelling. I watched the one on the USFL. Uh, I did not. The only one I've seen the whole way through has been the Muhammad Ali yeah. one. I, and then Larry Holmes comes out and said that they portrayed him in a bad light because it made it seem that the only reason why he won is because Muhammad Ali was doped up. So right. I don't know. Uh, what burned you up, Chris? Well, hold on. We got one more. Okay. You, got, you got my rings. Give me something about the rings. Oh, my bad. Are, yeah. are the uh, Yankees ready for their rings? Oh, yeah, that's what I want to talk about. All right, so as you've heard probably a bazillion times, the Yankees have won how many titles? 26. So how many sets of rings do they have? 26. 25. Do you know that in 1927 they got commemorative pocket watches? What? They didn't get rings. Babe Ruth doesn't need a pocket watch. Exactly. And you know what? It was back then. I never knew that. See, it wasn't necessarily everybody got rings. It was just not. I mean, so they said, oh, we'll get you a pocket watch because that was more of the times and everything. Well, if you go on, I told you, I love this ESPN page two. You click on page Mm -hmm. two, you go on there. They've got these random things you can read about. And this week's article is about the World Series rings. And it's about the real scoop. And it's by, by Paul Lucas. He talks about all these different rings and how many diamonds are on this one, uh-huh. and, and why they did this. Uh, everything from 1976, the Cincinnati Reds are this, is the only one that shows the commissioner's trophy on it. Oh, really? The only one. That's um, that, that's shocking. You know, it goes back to 1922. <clears throat> the Giants ring has a catcher's mitt on it. Um, you can you can look, you can click on them and look. Uh, on the 1969, the Miracle Mets, uh, they have the depiction of Shea Stadium on there. Uh, they talk about why some of the places um, – one put a, the, the program, the commemorative program on the ring. I mean, just why they did all these things. It's really neat. Go on there and look at it. Like I said, ESPN.com, well, I think about, page two. I think about rings in the terms of – you know, you think about Super Bowl. That that put the term ring into the lexicon, you know. And then you, uh, you start thinking about pennants and baseball. You think about rings, but you don't really think about concrete – Championship rings. I do with the Super Bowl. I do with national championships. You know, everybody talks about that. The uh, the NBA when Scott Pollard was here. Yes. How big? I mean, it was as big as the the, the monitor. Yeah, I couldn't believe how. I mean, I've seen championship right. rings, and to see that championship right. ring, that was incredible. Yeah. I mean, that was seriously the size of a racquetball. Yeah. That it was thing, the size of a racquetball. That ball. was a huge, huge ring, and that was one of the highlights having him down here. <laughs> yeah. You know, I mean, we've we've done all right for ourselves. I That's reckon. right. Uh, you know, back to the uh, to the championship rings. Uh, you know, it's it's come to be. Everybody says, "Oh, everybody gets rings now." Right. Used to not be that way. Right. Used to be, you know, you got a championship ring, you know, for you know a national championship or the NBA or. Right. But now, now it's, it's just, conferences, exactly. bowl games, bowl I, games. You conference. and I both know a lot of guys that have played college football and they they get a bowl a bowl ring even if they win. Yeah. Or lose. They lose. Yeah. That's what I meant. All right, Jared. Okay, please bore us with some more Yankee stuff. Okay, well, you trumped me. I thought I knew every random, really weird fact. Uh, The Yankees have lost to every original NL team in the World Series, okay, except for the Cubs and the Phillies. The Yankees have defeated all of the original National League teams in the World Series at least once. All the original uh, teams have all won at least two titles. All right. All right. Now the Yankees are 27 outs away from their 27th title. Except the papers in Philadelphia today were printed; they had pictures of back-to-back Phillies championship shirts. Somebody messed up and ran an ad too soon. Oh my gosh! Yeah, it was on the front page. It was in the New York. The New York papers were kind of all over that. 1923, the Yankees started out with a new stadium, and what happened? They won. They won. 2009, new stadium. Well, they win. You know, that's happened about six times. Teams have built new stadiums and won the year that they built the new stadium. Most recently, 2006, with the, uh, with the Cardinals. The Yankees, since 2001, have spent $1.6 billion on players. $423 million just this past year. You know how much the stadium cost? About as, almost <laughs> $2 billion, wasn't it? $1.5. Pretty amazing. 
Yeah. Cashman said sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. The AL has won 61 out of the 104 World Series. I figured it'd be a little bit more more even. Part of that's the Yankees because, as you know, the Yankees have won 26. The Dodgers, I know this is kind of potpourri of World Series. The <laughs> Dodgers have won 18, uh, have been to the World Series 18 times. All right, nine times in Brooklyn, nine times in L.A. Kind of amazing. They've won six. Uh, A-Rod is playing better because of Kate Hudson, according to David Wells. <laughs> I don't know if you believe that or not. I, I listen. I'd play better. Yeah. Also, I'm here to make the argument that steroids don't help you. Okay. In what? A, in baseball, A. Rod was on steroids. We found out. I was shocked. He didn't know what he was taking exactly, just for a little period. We know he's clean now, and look how well he's played this season. Completely clean. No, no, no. Andy no, no. Pettit, those couple days he used steroids. Look at how well he's pitched. <laughs> And I, I realized something. As as much as I get on here and say, you know, steroids, blah, 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 I don't care. Yes. I don't care. But the average fan doesn't I care. don't care if they have a cart and they are shooting up in the on-deck circle. I don't care if they change it to the steroid circle. I don't care if they're rubbing the cream and whatever in the clear. Just hit some home runs. That's that's the, the, They've done <clears throat> uh, studies where like 60-some percent of fans say the same thing. Right. They're I not, think in the long run they're hurting themselves. They've hurt the game, but the game's accepted it. Right. And if and if there's not going to be changes made, then what do you do? Right. Well, Chris, what burns you up? All right. So I went to a Halloween party on Saturday night. Did not you? a Halloween party for adults, but a Halloween party for kids. Okay. Okay. Um, get in there. The Florida game's on. Oh, wow. Exactly. Awesome. That's when I'm like, okay, this could turn out nice. This is a great party. I sit down and watch while dinner's getting ready and all this stuff. Two other males come over and sit down and proceed to cheer for Georgia. No problem. I have no problem that's with fine. that. Go dogs. Yeah, that's right. Cheer for whoever you want right. to cheer for. Uga. At this point, they Uga. don't know until one remembers oh, Chris is a Florida fan. And the first thing out of the other guy's mouth is, I think Tim Tebow's overrated. Now, okay, that's that's your opinion. That's everybody's right. opinion. And I'm not saying that it's right or wrong or whatever. But why, and we've talked about this with Tyler Hansborough, and we've talked about it with Tim Tebow, and we've talked about it with Derek Jeter, and we've talked about it with all the, it doesn't matter if you think they're overrated or not. Right. I guarantee you, I don't know if they had a draft for all college football players and said pick the first person. I'm not sure if Tebow would be taken first. I don't know that. Would you take him? But I guarantee he'd be taken in the top ten. Right. And I think that everybody would say, I would love to have that guy on my team. But it's just funny. I don't think he's out there playing. T.O.'s overrated. Yeah, I don't think okay. he's out there saying, I'm great, I'm great, I'm great, you know, I'm th- this. He's yeah. out there playing the game, and so what? If people like him, I think a lot of people like him because, you know what, he wins and because he's a pretty good guy. Nobody's out, He's not out there saying, I'm great, I think I'm the greatest or anything like right. that. So that's what burns me up. All right, we've got about 20 seconds, Jared. Take us out with uh, – Tell us about the, the what's going to be on the podcast or the video cast. All right. you say it. Well, I'm not going to watch it tonight because I'm going to go and play the Wii Tiger Woods golf since I haven't been to your house to play. I've been practicing on my own. Uh, Kyle's going to hook this up. It's going to be simulcast. If you watch it on YouTube, it'll probably be broken down in the same segments as the show. You can check it out on YouTube. You can check it out on our website. And thanks, Kyle Head, for coming down and filming us. Chris, it's been three great years. Hopefully everybody listening will keep on listening. All right. For Jared Hatcher, I'm Chris Davis. KCJ, make sure you go to the website, the show on ESPN. Check us out on TV. We look pretty.